I'm Natalie Chung, and this is Made of Light at Morton Fine Art. The images behind me are part of my Intersections of Light series. These photographs are about changes in memory over time. For example, if you have a specific image in your memory, say an apple, every time you think of that apple, the memory gets slightly altered. So if that apple, apple was perfectly red, maybe in the next time you remember it, there are spots on the apple. And maybe the more you remember that image, the more that image isn't what it looked like to begin with. So I took these images with a camera I made uh, that includes hundreds of lenses and each lens represents um, recalling the same memory over and over again. So as you can see um, in the images behind me, you can see sort of detail of a building um, and then sometimes my pieces are in full abstraction. And the reason for that um, it's just that, you know, you're remembering something over and over, but it gets more abstract every time you remember it into, you know, nothingness. In facsimile, I reduce photography down to its bare bones, light chemistry and light sensitive paper. I don't use a camera or film in making this artwork. I create chance operations in the dark room that result in painterly compositions, just like this one. Facsimile considers the idea that no pattern or image, whether created unintentionally by nature or intentionally by human hand, is ever truly an original, that eventually through chance, certain patterns and images will have occurred in one way or another. My intermediaries artworks are cyanotype mappings of evaporation. Many of the artworks are reminiscent of landscape aerial photography. As you can see in this piece, it really looks like rivers flowing down the paper. Um, cyanotypes are the oldest photographic process and they're the same um, technique that was used to make early architectural blueprints. Um, so it's fitting for me to use the cyanotype medium to create these 
mappings of evaporation. The title of each artwork indicates the hours in which it took water to evaporate completely from the paper. And that time can range from as little to 10 hours as as much to as 150 hours. Um, and the hours represent uh, sort of the ticking clock we have on the world with climate change. These artworks go hand in hand with um, other works in this exhibition, my model islands um, that also talk about climate change and hyperconsumerism. you see.